to really make uh, prisons effective, they have to be completely reconceptualized. And you actually want to make it into an environment where people, rather than being forced to become machines, have they have special lessons in intentionality. They have more, they should have more decisions that they all the time have to make. And decisions that, that they have to take into account what other people think and feel all the time. You know, be like uh, uh, a human equivalent of a kind of air traffic controllers, you know, all the time having to map uh, other people's uh, thoughts and feelings. And if they fail in doing that, that's when uh, they get, what they get is incentivized, is actually being able to bear, uh, bear other people's thoughts and feelings in mind. And obviously this needs to be built up gradually, because they're often not very good at it. But you build it up and you make the prison into a, a, an exceptionally humane place, rather than an exceptionally inhumane one. Um, uh, now, that, that would be my prison reform. The chances of doing this are minimal uh, because uh, any time that people have tried to do that, they get accused of mollycoddling uh, uh, the prisoners. They're not being punished in the way they should be and so on and so forth. Now, what seems to work and what is, seems to be kind of more or less acceptable uh, to people um, is something along the lines of making criminals responsible for their criminal act, kind of bringing them face to face with their victims, for example, and having been forced to experience the mental states that they had experienced. Now, if you make this too aversive, if you do this in a cruel way, what happens is that the part of the brain that would be doing the mentalizing in that context is inhibited. And actually they just go through the motions of it and they get no benefit from it. So you have to do it in a subtle and gentle way if you're going to do it. But if you do it like that, I think it probably has a chance of being su successful.